Okay, so in the last video, we did introduce a grid system which I had created myself. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be seeing how we can apply the grid system to a part of our application. So we'll just open up what we had last time and um, looking at it in the browser here, this is what we had. So what we want now is that as you can see this is supposed to be our sidebar or secondary content we want that to be on the right hand side of our page here and we also want this list of blog posts to be on the left hand side so how do we do that okay to use the grid system anytime you want to make columns you have to create a div tag and give it a class of columns and then inside of that you can say i want grid 8 or grid 4 or grid 2 okay i'll show you what i mean by that in a moment so right as of now um the main content is taking up the whole width of the screen and we don't want that so as you can see here it's taking up just a certain part of the screen and there's white space on the left hand right hand side and the reason for that is because right now it's been given a grid size of eight okay so it's taking off eight over 12 of the whole size of the screen so that's the same thing we want for here so let's go ahead and do that so for the main content, I'll just create another div and I'll give it a class of columns. Okay, so we'll just take the main content. I'll close this here. I'll cut it and paste it inside the columns class here. Okay so next thing what we want to do is actually before we paste it in there let's create another div inside there and give that a class of grid 8 and then in there we can just paste that main content so now let's go back in our browser and have a look when i refresh this page should be smaller as you can see it's taking off an eighth of the screen okay but one thing you may notice is as I go here, at this stage, it's supposed to, um, we want that the sidebar doesn't, um, we want the sidebar to be on the right hand side here, but that's not happening. And the reason for that is because we haven't styled inside of the main content. We have told the main content be an eight over 12 of the screen, but we haven't told it that we want your contents to be taking eight and fourth of your width as well so this is the main content that we have styled now let's style the list of blog posts so we'll also cut that so i'll just minimize this here as you can see blog posts so we'll create another div called columns and inside of it we'll have another div which is has a size of um, grid 8 and inside there we'll just paste um, the list of blog posts okay next thing that we need to do is put the aside as well inside of um, the grid sorry inside of the columns but instead of giving it a class of grid 8 we'll give it a class of grid 4 so we should do this grid dash 4 and inside there we'll just paste that aside so just have a quick look at what's happening so we have this main column which is containing the main content so that's squishing the main content to be smaller and inside the main content since we have the list of blog posts and we have the aside which is secondary content we want that list of blog posts to be taken 8 out of 12 of the whole width of not the whole width of the screen the whole width of the main content which is actually not the width of the screen as well if you remember and then we want the secondary content to be taking four out of eight sorry 12. okay so let's refresh this now if everything goes fine we should see the sidebar here and as you can see that's what's happening so let's keep squishing this page as well here as you can see as the sidebar reaches this um as the main content reaches this size, the sidebar goes inside of the list of blog posts and that's not what we want. So we can tell the grid system that when you've got smaller, that we want you to um, take up the whole width of the screen. 
so don't wait till you're too small so that so that the sidebar doesn't go um, inside the other content and how you do that is you can use smaller 12 so that's saying as you get smaller don't be 8 of the screen be 12 of the screen okay so we'll apply that to um, the secondary content as well so here just come grade 12 I'll just paste this here smaller 12 so now let's have a look at our browser and if everything goes fine that should be the desired behavior and as you can see as the screen is getting smaller okay so it seems like we still have some styling to do so let's go back in our markup and it seems like we need to add the smaller 12 as well to the container of the main content so here I need to put smaller dash 12 here as well which is containing the main content okay so now looking at our browser now let's keep resizing and still the same issue okay I know what that issue is you see this image here um, by default images don't tend to resize with their container so what I mean by that is since this image here is bigger than its container at this small size it just stays as it is and if you notice this text here it's reducing but the image is not so we have to tell the image as well to have a max width of 100% okay so now we have to add some styling to our main.css so let's go back there now main.css and how do we target the blog post main image we say blog post main image and we'll just say that we'll give it a display of um, block and the image blog post main image say that if you notice this is the a tag and inside a tag we have an image that's why we're doing that so we'll say width is 100 percent we'll do the same for this as well width 100 percent because we want to take the whole of the page and now let's refresh and anytime we resize now we shall see the image reducing as well as you can see everything's working out fine and at a small size everything will drop and take the whole weight of the page okay so that was what was the issue and if you're having same issues with images just have a look at them and just style them appropriately okay so that's it for this tutorial video um i hope it wasn't that confusing with the introducing of the grid system and applying it to the pages here but if it is just have a look at the markup um, it's not really that um, hard to understand uh, probably it will be hard to get used to but once you do um, it will be a breeze so just recap once more anytime you want to apply a grid to um, a bunch of stuff make sure they are contained inside a div with a class of column and then give actually those items grid 8 and grid 8 means 8 over 12 of the container and um, yeah that's it so um, I'll see you soon in the next video wherein we're actually going to be styling this um, list of blog posts here and in later videos we'll be styling the sidebar as well so thanks for watching and if this was helpful or you like the videos or if you have any suggestions um, as to the speed or delivery quality just let me know in the comments below and um, I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye bye